that Christian fundamentalists blocked a child rape victim from abortion in Espirito Santo, Brazil. A 10-year-old girl who had been a victim of sexual abuse by her uncle for four years became pregnant several months ago. She visited a local hospital with the help of her grandmother to obtain an abortion, but she was denied permission. Hospital administrators refused the intervention. A court authorized the procedure for her because her life is clearly in danger and because she's the victim of child sexual abuse. But the information was leaked about where this procedure would take place. And anti-abortion Christians flooded the entrance of the hospital to make sure she couldn't access treatment. Uh, they shouted assassin at the girl. Sources say that she went to a different hospital and completed the procedure. Okay, so this is actually a good news because she got what she needed and they embarrassed Christianity for the whole world to see. I mean, this story went viral. So this is a win-win for everybody, right? So she got, she wasn't blocked from doing, you know, she eventually got what she, like the whole thing is a good thing that happened, I think. Well, I don't think it's good that she was verbally oh, yeah. and emotionally abused in By, a situation yeah. that was already traumatic enough. Um, so on an individual level, I don't think that's a good right. thing. It's good that she did complete the procedure, and I hope that she can receive Maybe counseling because and of move that on abuse. with her life. Maybe because of the abuse she got, now a lot of people are now paying attention to her, and she's getting a lot more support. I don't know. I'm just trying to, I don't know. Give it. Rivka, Rivka. I just want to second what Susanna said. I mean, I'm glad she was able to have the procedure and these people weren't able to stop her from getting the medical care that she deserved and needed. But uh, I just feel so sorry for this poor girl. She's already been through so much. She's already traumatized by this and then this on top of it. And it just it makes me so sad and it just makes me say what I always say when I see examples of this, that, you know, showing that Christian love, eh? I mean, this is this poor, hurt, traumatized girl. Even if you don't agree with this, to do this to her and traumatize her more and make her feel worse, I just think it's really horrific. It's, it's a terrible horrible. thing to do. It's, it's really okay. bad because, I mean, when you are a survivor of child sexual abuse, there are all many, already so many different ways in which just on the level of trying to survive psychologically to understand what happened to you and then compounded by social factors of shaming about saying, I, I, this happened because of me, I'm responsible. There are so many different ways in which survivors already blame themselves when they shouldn't. And so imagine what it's like as a, oh, I'm trying not to swear, um, as a child to already go through this, already be internalizing that this happened because it's your fault. And then yeah. have gangs of adults, adults verbally abusing you and calling you a murderer for you trying to protect the health of your own developing body. It's really sad. It's making me like as a, as a parent, it makes me, I mean, it's making me tear up. It is a horrible thing. And like I said, even if you disagree, I just, who does these things to children? It's so terrible. She's already been abused by this guy. And now these religious people are abusing her more. I mean, it's, it's, it's just it, horrendous. They're reprehensible. It, especially that this 10 year old girl just got raped and the rapist is still at large and the uh, thing they're getting outraged over is that she's trying to get an abortion instead of that the rapist is still at large and no one has got him okay i i can sorry shopam did you finish yeah go ahead okay no but but i don't understand even okay let's i'm trying to put myself in there in these christian people's mindset okay even if they think that they're they're doing a good thing to stop an abortion do they not see that they picked the worst like it's a 10 year old right that got raped that is now pregnant and they're shouting assassin at a 10 year old for wanting to get an abortion like Maybe if they want to stand up against abortion, if they were protesting like a 
I mean, I'm I'm for choice on every case, like n- not just like rape victims, not just like children, but maybe they should have picked somebody else if f- just for, I mean, the looks of it, this is strategically, it seems like the most dumbest p- case to pick for protesting. And well, obviously they're not thinking as strategically as someone like you, but you're very, you are very strategic in your activism. Like, let's be clear. Obviously they aren't. Um, and they are standing up for what they believe to be a violation of God's will. Let's be clear. The problem with this is that it is disrupting God's will. To them. Yeah. The problem is also that it's magical thinking. It's uh, illogical, all these things. So yeah, maybe, you know, you may not like it from, an actual logic standpoint, you could, you could have reasons for that. But if you're trying to find a reason why someone would not be strategic about protesting this, I think that this particular group has obviously shown themselves to be unreasonable because of their behavior. So I don't think that they're the kind of group who would say, okay, how can we reasonably go about getting our message across without looking like a bunch of big jerks. And there are some anti-abortion groups that do that. These people are not those people. These people are unreasonable. Um, I didn't. Okay, guys, am I ignorant? I didn't know 10 year olds can get pregnant. It all depends on when you first menstruate. Hmm. Wow. It, okay, varies, so it varies a lot. Yeah, imagine that being your first experience with pregnancy. God damn it. This person is like scarred for life, eh? Okay, Shabham. No, I want to dispute that. Like when she said they, these people aren't uh, very strategic at what they're doing. I think they are kind of being strategic in the sense like I have seen these videos online. Okay, so mostly from the US, the right wing people, people like Caitlin Bennett and uh, this kind of people and they specifically target like really really young girls and they're like do you know abortion is murder do you know that you are killing a life you're getting abortion and these really small children in i think in like a way to indoctrinate it doctrinate them into thinking that abortion is something like really moral and it is equivalent to murder and things so I think it could be strategic there that they are targeting young people because they know they cannot really change the views of older people. Um, I meant strategic in the sense of how it will come off, or come across to everyone else. Right. I do want to read the top comment. Um, the top comment is by Reese is saying every single one of them should have to pay for a house and pay for support of the girl and the unborn kid. And if she dies as a result of complications, they should be put in jail for murder. Uh, there was another person that pointed out that the headline is misleading, but we clarified, right? So uh, Gabrielle is saying the headline is not quite right. They tried to do that, but the abortion still happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this is not the he- we didn't pick the headline. This is well, um, it's actually not completely inaccurate. They did block her from getting mm-hmm. an abortion, and then she went somewhere else where they didn't block her. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but people are giving you virtual hugs in the chat, Rivka. I want to give you a hug Aww. right now. We love you. <laughs> well, no, Rivka is so Rivka is so sweet. Um, <laughs> she, she's the Jewish mama I never had. <laughs> All right. Um, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, 
you may, we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 